um, ignition is a little bit how you going and there's the bits and pieces for the switch surprisingly enough I was able to order a new ignition uh, switch which the other one is completely gone and this is from a Ford Courier let's turn that so because this is an 8C transponder we will have to pull the yep we've got lights on okay no, no battery power might have to drop the column to get the screw out there's a screw just there and I might be able to get a screwdriver out and then we'll put this switch back on so with these tabs you've got to if they're red you push it that way and then push it down and then it will come out so the ECU is under there it is an EEPROM job it's about a three hour job total I've just decoded the door lock and we're going to take it from there alrighty Oh, and the funny thing is that I started off the year with a Ford Laser, um, same year model, I think it was 2000 and, oh, 2000 or 2001, and today is the 31st of December, and this is the last job for the year, and it's amazing that I started the year with one of these, and I'm finishing the year with one of these. Okay, so we just put the computer, the ECU, back into there, so that's good. Now, we have to somehow get this. I'm hoping that I can just undo this with a flat blade of the Phillips head screwdriver, and we can, as I have to drop the column. Okay, now we put it all back together. The switch is on the back, cowling's on. We'll put the battery in. Okay, so final test. We've got two transponders here, I'll just put them there and grab one and put it in the key shell and we'll try it. And there we have it. So the data was actually just read left to right, not bit, uh, bit swap. So all keys done. All keys lost. Try the other transponder. Try it in there. So all done. Uh, all keys lost. Repaired the back of the ignition um, for a 2001 Ford Laser. And we're all done. Thanks for watching.